All right, guys. Well, I'm excited today to show you an uh, update on the tomato plants. And you can kind of see here, we do have some that are turning. Um, we've already eaten quite a few. I uh, need to harvest some today. But I just wanted to show you, you know, those are over nine feet tall there. This one, you can see I had to drop it down because it was already on the roof. I may just let this one do its thing. Uh, you kind of see here, these are a little smaller variety. Some, oh, sorry about that. The camera to focus a little. Um, these are actually really tasty. And sorry, I know some of these are beefsteak and we slid in a couple different variety here so you can see here now this plant's not doing as good whenever you see that you gotta check <coughs> make sure the dripper's still going so these are on a two gallon an hour dripper system and this particular plant you can see the leaves kinda wither now that's the only one I've got no idea what's going on on that one it didn't get as much morning sun as these others but anyway I'll harvest what I can and we'll decide if we want to replace that plant if any of you guys have any ideas on this one let me know uh, you can see there you can see the leaves are just kind of scrappy compared to these big full leaves so anyway, we'll harvest those, but let me go around and show you the suckers that we pulled off. So these are just suckers from the main plants that we threw in the float bed. And you know, last time I covered the video, they were only a few inches high. So you can see, and you may ask why in the world I'm doing this here. Um, you can see I've done it on several so what I'm doing is I'm shoving it to the side and pinning it in there so I can get to the roots without you know stripping them off and I'm gonna try to transplant some of these outside and just see what happens so I know a lot of people said oh you can't do that but why don't we just see anyway uh, let me back up here so you can really see just how tall these are because these are going from the floor and they're they're oh five and a half to six feet tall yeah and actually they're going all the way from and these are growing in a float bed that does have an air pump so yeah you don't necessarily need dutch buckets and these were also all these uh were suckers so you can see they grew off these plants here quite a few of them so the parent plant is nine feet tall and these are already five feet tall in a very very short time frame and you can go back and look at some of my previous videos and you can see when we had these over here last time you know they were probably a foot tall or so so it's not taking long and they're looking pretty good so these are gonna be a little a little harder to to drop I've got a little space out here in the aisle but anyway and then there's these over here I have to back up again they grew all the way through the trellis and they've hit the ceiling up there so that's becoming a little difficult for me to um, trim them up when they're above that area so some of them I'm just gonna let them grow out do their thing uh, hopefully I don't get too much shade from that cucumber plant uh, that's kind of taken over here so anyway and these I've picked just a few but you can see little cherry tomatoes so those are some of my favorite and again, I'll get better about keeping track of what plants 
that's why I do some of these videos so I can go back and look at the plants that uh, we started and all these are started from seed um, you can see this one here has a little bit of kind of withering and I don't know if that's from lack of sun you go down so these are growing in grow media and that's the hydrotin that we got from Home Depot so this is just the clay pebbles they're assorted sizes really really like that stuff it just works so well the only way to really get a discount and so this is what happens over here see when you mix that perlite that perlite will clog up on you that's why I was saying I like this concept but only if you use this grow media so in the Dutch buckets down here it's got hydrotin on top but a few inches down we're doing perlite the hydrotin is just to uh, stay dry so that we don't get algae growth so we may look for some beto bucket um, you know they're like dollar covers I'm not look at that in the future so I don't have to use up any this is a little bit expensive if I can just cover it with something else that perlite's really cheap you see over there all those tomatoes but so tomatoes tomatoes and whole wall of tomatoes there all right guys i gotta get these fans back on it's getting a little warm in here feels pretty good when i have my cooling wall on though anyway good luck guys you got any questions let me know put some comments uh do me a favor like the video and i'll keep doing updates and show you how this stuff grows through the season uh, I'll do some updates on some of our other leafy greens that we've put in for the summer and uh, subscribe and I'll have those updates coming soon. Good luck guys. Give us a thumbs up. You'll find more videos over here and subscribe down here. Bye bye. See you next time.